The New York Giants have signed Rakeem Nunez Roches to a multi-year deal to join the Giants defensive line. To take a closer look, welcome to Inside the Film Room, presented by Microsoft Surface with Super Bowl champion Sean O'Hara. I am John Schmelk. And Sean, the Giants run defense, not what they wanted it to be last year. This is some reinforcements. Yeah, they've got somebody to help out, Leonard Williams and Dexter Lawrence up front. And Roaches, as I'm going to call him right here, you're going to see him right here. This is what he specializes in, stopping the run. And it doesn't matter if he's front side or back side like he is on this play. But this is a great opportunity right here to see his awareness right here on the back side of this play to know, hey, the play's going away. I've got to find a way to beat this tackle. That's Orlando Brown, one of the best free agent tackles available right now. He's going to beat him on the back side shows his quickness and right here you could see the quickness and the ability to kind of he attacks this guard right here joe tooney punches him and then kind of uses that to slingshot him through the this backside b gap right here and make this tackle so great job on the back side a lot of times you know, defense linemen, if they know they're on the backside of a play, they maybe throttle down, not him. He's full He's full steam ahead. We know about the Ravens' power run game, Sean. They try to run right at him on this play. He's at nose, but he holds his ground. Yeah, I showed him as a three technique. Now he's at a zero nose right here against the rookie, Tyler Lindenbaum. And he does a great job here using his hands. Shows the power at the point of attack. And you can see right away, he's controlling this block the entire time, right here. Look at the inside hands right there. That left hand is inside as he's lifting up the center. So great brace right there by the lower body, great anchor and great power. He basically fends him off with one arm as he makes the tackle right here. So really nice job at the point of attack right here. And you can see the effect that it has on the center as well as the running back right here to be able to almost two gap this right here you got to have a lot of power yeah sure look the ravens have had on a hat i mean there's not a lot there behind that you know defensive line for, for the bucks if if he doesn't get off that block he's probably gaining seven or eight yards yeah it's, it's a good job of him you know fighting off the blocker right here and keeping that outside arm free and he almost kind of pushes this off his lineman into that gap and forces the running back over there. So he does a nice job of forcing his hand right there and then finishing off the tackle. So there's the hand use and the strength. Now against the Falcons, we're going to see some athleticism when they try to cut him, but he doesn't allow them to do it. Yeah, when you're watching film and you've got a defensive tackle on the backside that's penetrating and you know, beating that backside tackle, a lot of times they'll say, hey, just cut him. Hey, take the legs out and don't let him beat you on the backside. And you're going to see him right here. The athleticism as the lineman comes in here to kind of take his legs out right here all right they're trying to barrel roll into those legs and just basically either put him on the ground or make him slow down which is legal by the way since no legal. one else is contacting him one man over and as long as the center is not engaged in him yes you're correct so this is a legal block but look at the athleticism by the big fella right here it just kind of hurls him this is why defense linemen do those bag drills to start practice it's can you climb over the body he does a good job using his hand right there to kind of push him into the ground and then gets in on the tackle right here. A nice tackle right there at the line of scrimmage. Good job showing the athleticism. And he's not scared to celebrate and let people know who he is right there. You gotta have a little energy, a little fire if you're gonna play on the defensive line. Now, he hasn't had a chance to celebrate after sacks much in his career, more of a run stuffer, but here against the Rams last season, we see him flash some pass rush ability. Yeah, some quickness you're going to see right here from the big fella. He's inside here, inside shade of the guard, and he's going to show some quickness right here and a little arm chop. And you could see against the Rams, you know, right out of the gate, boom, look at this arm chop right here. All right, he's taking an inside move. That right arm is coming down right there to chop this inside arm of that guard. And once that inside arm is chopped, now he knows, all right, I, I can pin that arm down and I can clear the hip. Doesn't get washed, doesn't get tied up by the center. And after he chops that arm, then he goes to the rip move right there so that the guard can't hold him. And right here, look at, he's got his left hand on the center right there. So great awareness to, as I'm chopping the guard's hand, I'm putting my left hand on the back of the center and I'm kind of jumping through the gap right here to get cleared. So I can't get held and I can't get tripped and finish it off with a nice sack on Matt Stafford. I know the Giants are ecstatic to have him to add to the defensive line. 300-pound man getting skinny between the guard and the center. Very yeah. impressive. But again, the Giants hope he can pair with Dexter Lawrence, the rest of their defensive front, to improve against the run and add some pass rush as well in 2023. That's a look at one of the newest Giants inside the film room presented by Microsoft Surface. For Sean O'Hara, I'm John Schmelk. Thanks for being with us. We'll see you next time.